Today we're unboxing uh, one of Anthem's uh, multi-channel power amplifiers, the MCA325. This 3 by 225 watt power amplifier is an excellent example of uh, multi-channel power amp for the use of home theatre, um, where the left, centre and right speaker are, are driven uh, perfectly in a balanced way. Okay, so Anthem. Anthem is a Canadian company, and so their packaging is kind of muted, rather than being sort of flashy and showy, they're just, hey, get on with it, uh, they get the product to you. This box has been opened uh, by the distributor, and a New Zealand power cord has been added, so the factory tape has already been uh, busted up, but we'll be opening it here for the first time, and in the way that you will do that in your own home. This is the 220, 240-volt version, and you'll see the model and um, serial number of the stamp at the end of the packaging with basic information about it as Anthem on the other. Um, right, here we go, I guess. Um, oh, just pointing out on one end, we've got the model and serial number. It's only on one end. Um, so, yeah. Right. Now, this has been um, sellotaped closed. It's got old fashioned packing tape, so it's pretty easy for me to open. The first freight carton is slid off. Now, this is a very heavy end. If you see I'm struggling, it's because I am. Okay, so the other freight part is an excellent um, little addition. It uh, saves from a lot of bruising and packaging. Plus, it uh, gives an opportunity for the distributors and the retailers to, to apply delivery information on directly onto the surface of the carton without affecting the initial box that you may keep at home. So again, a muted design inside, and again, this one's been opened in a New Zealand power cord. So we're just going to clip the tape. Now, being a power amp, it's not going to be full of accessories. Um, there's barely enough to get it going, and that's all that it needs. A New Zealand power cord, Closed cell phone packaging. Um, reveals the power amp. Now I'm going to really get this one out. So, the power amplifier has, is sealed inside a bag using some good solid tape. And clipping it enables me to take out and remove the owner's manual. Uh, this is bilingual, so it's French and, and uh, English. And in it is a spare fuse and a basic warranty card. Removing the bag of any of the larger power amplifiers isn't, isn't difficult, straightforward, but obviously the weight has to be taken into account. So you'll see the way that I've sort of half picked, half slid to get that bag. It's worth noting that as I bring this up onto its edge, you will see that they've taped the um, moisture guard things to the units itself. That's a nice little feature. Commonly they, they get a bit lost and end up not necessarily doing a good enough job. So, looking at this amplifier for the first time, the beautiful extruded aluminium front panel with a basic on and off switch. That's all that's needed. Then the in, um, you've got the ability to trigger it from the rear, which we'll see. If I'm going to tip that forward, you will see that the amplifier is somewhat modular in its design, and you'll also see good ventilation and, and grills enabling the amplification stages to keep themselves cool without the necessity of a fan. Uh, the power supply is in the front of the unit, making it relatively easy for me to pick up and tip forward. But overall, the, heat, the, the weight is, uh, is very heavy. Spinning it around, you will see large, thick, bent steel top and the rear where everything comes and goes. Um, main IEC power cord is the first thing to connect. Now, it's worth noting that off to one side is a unique feature, which is a grounding point quite commonly with power amplifiers, uh, hum may be induced as the 
potential to earth is different between the source component, like a theoramp or a process and preamp, that it gives us the ability to bind those grounds together very, very easily. And that's an excellent single feature. Above that is the fuse and uh, trigger control both in and out for, for the ability to turn on a theater amplifier and then cascade to turn on other power amps or again a processing preamp. The first input, and they're all isolated, is a single-ended or balanced input directly underneath each other, which then feeds directly to that channel's output. They label channel 1, 2 and 3, making uh, plugging in and uh, adding the speaker cables nice and easy and simple. So we've got three channel power amplifier here. Uh, they do a five channel variant, which has two more here, and a uh, two channel variation in the same chassis where the configuration is slightly more central. This one is one of my favorites because I'm a big fan of taking a theater amplifier and upgrading it with the addition of a power amplifier. So it's great that we've got this here in our Christchurch store and are unboxing it uh, today. So the Anthem MCA. 325 power amplifier, 3 by 225 watts, unboxed here at the Listening Post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.